sometimes I feel like I just need somebody to pour a massive amount of love into me. Lately, honestly, it's been like that. I have been remaining so incredibly positive despite everything that I've been going through, the emotional and depressive ups and downs. And I have people in my life who love and support me as much as they're able to. But lately I have felt so alone in like a very interesting kind of way because I've dealt with feelings of loneliness and being alone ever since I can remember. Tonight I went to see my real friend. We've been friends for about 11 years now. His name is Elijah. I went to see him perform. He is a rapper and musician. You guys should totally t check him out. His name is Beatnik Scum. I will put a Spotify link below. I went to see him perform tonight and I only stayed for about an hour because it is my best friend's birthday party. I'm glad I got to see him perform, but I also am glad that I went because there is something about the energy at the place tonight. It was I had other musicians. I only got to hear one other rapper and one man that was doing poetry, spoken word, and everybody I got to hear was amazing and had such a phenomenal, beautiful energy. And I'm glad that I went because I felt so connected to the people in this environment. Like you can feel it in the room, the energy of people who have been through so fucking much, who know depression very well, who know loneliness and pain very well, and there is just something about being in that room tonight that made me feel not alone. I know that when you are growing and healing, you can feel very alone in that process, but I just want to encourage anybody who needs to hear it that you are not alone. And even if it is on a subconscious level or a energetic level, there are people and energies and spirits that are surrounding you and trying to encourage you and remind you that you are connected. You are connected with a huge community of people who love and understand and see you and feel you more clearly than you realize. I know that everybody is going through their own types of things right now. Personally, one of the things that I have been struggling with most is self-worth, um, specifically around homelessness and while this lifestyle has taught me so much and has honestly built my confidence in a way that I have never experienced before in my life, it can be a massive blow to your self-esteem. How people will treat you sometimes or speak about you or how they look at you because of being poor or homeless and I am an extremely kind-hearted loving person but not everybody is gonna look at that and I put a smile on my face a lot of the time like a lot of people do even when I am just breaking apart inside I struggle to feel like I am even worthy of being loved because of my financial and living situation and I'm doing so good in a lot of ways and I am doing my absolute best. Sometimes I don't know why I have to feel all of this and go through all of this. It is definitely immense strength building and it hurts a lot. A lot of the things that I have been through and am going through and I am an extraordinarily strong woman. And it can be very overwhelming 
at times and while I don't always I don't necessarily know why I have to go through this I want to believe that there is a reason and that I might inspire somebody someday or pour love and encouragement and inspiration into somebody who might be going through similar things in any way I think that what I have gone through has made me a thousand times more loving which is also my choice people can choose whether to allow the things that they've been through to build them into mean people or into kind people it is a choice it is absolutely a choice basically I think the point of this video is just to Tell anybody out there who needs to hear it that you're not alone. And I don't know why we have to go through the things that we're going through, but don't give up. I do genuinely hope and believe that someday I will look back and be like, wow, it was all fucking worth it. Even though sometimes it doesn't feel like it and sometimes I want to give up and sometimes I want to fucking die because it hurts so much to be alive. It hurts so much to constantly be rejected by people or belittled by people because of the place I am in in life. For people to treat me like I am less than them because I am poor and because I live out of my vehicle or because I look a certain way or because I am a certain way. It's fucking hard, guys. It's fucking hard, and a lot of people understand and relate to that, even if you might not relate to this exact type of environment and these particular triggers. You understand what it's like to feel worthless and rejected and hated. Don't give up. I do massively hope that anybody going through anything at all in your life right now that things just take a major <laughs> turn for the better and that somebody or something just pours so much love into you because sometimes you need that I know that I need that I really do and I'm loving on myself but sometimes you really do just want somebody to step in, wrap their arms around you, and pour a massive, massive amount of love into you. It's gonna be alright. I don't know what you're going through. But it's gonna be alright. And I believe in you. I believe in me. I hope that you find a community and family and group of friends who are good for you and loving and kind and compassionate and understanding. I am very grateful to have people in my life who are like that, even when I do feel alone. I have long distance friends who are just gold and treat me like gold and they are absolutely irreplaceable. You cannot replace somebody who loves you and thinks you are amazing even when you are at your lowest and I hope that everybody watching this gets to experience that kind of love because I genuinely believe that everybody is worthy of that. That is it. That's all I wanted to say. That's all I wanted to share. I hope that you have an amazing, beautiful day.